Welcome Midtown Video Web Surfers. I'm Jesse Miller, and we're joined today by Shiba-san from Sony. Thank you for making it out. Shiba-san, what's Thank your- Thank you for time. What's your title? Okay, my title is uh, Marketing and the Product Manager. Fantastic, Marketing and Product Manager. And today, we're gonna talk about the MCS8M, right? Compact Multi-Format Switcher. We're gonna give you a brief overview and then describe one set of features that I haven't seen in any switcher of this size so far. So. What, uh, what size switcher are we talking about? How many, how many inputs do we have here? Actually, we have up to seven inputs. Okay. And uh, including four SDI plus uh, three HDMI and one DBI input. So a good mix. You have your, your broadcast HDSEI cameras, yep. your sort of consumer grade HDMIs, yep. and then a DVI input for graphics, computers, exactly. something like this. Right. Great. And so we've got seven inputs. Uh, what about outputs? How many outputs do we have on the on Yes, the and actually we have a four SDI output. Okay. And uh, everything labeled as like a program output and the auxiliary output and okay. also multi-viewing output. Multi-view, which we have exactly on one. the screen behind us. Yep. Very good, but it doesn't just have to be multi-view, no? That's correct. Actually, uh, you can uh, assign the another signal onto the interface. Even for the program out, you can assign a preview or multi-viewing or uh, auxiliary preview or program out. Fantastic, so uh, four HDSDI outputs, two DVI outputs, and they're all independently assignable. Right. Anything could be a single camera or a program, yep. or as you mentioned, a preview or program for an aux, That's right? right. Which, we'll, uh, which I'd like to describe for you now. How often have you found yourself requiring two or three mixes? For instance, a church. Yep. They'll wanna have one, one mix that's recorded for DVD sales that might include crowd shots, but one mix that's going out to the projectors, which wouldn't include the crowd shots. Before we would have to use, if we wanted to get a broadcast dissolve or a, or a proper cut without a jump, we would need two switchers to do this, but now. We need only one. Only one Both switcher, the MCS8M, MCS fantastic. So churches, corporations, what's the list price on this? Uh, $6,600. $6,600 fits you right in there. So uh, let's take a look at the back panel, all right? Here are the four HDM SDI inputs. Here are the three HDMI inputs and the one DVI input. And then as Shiba-san alluded to earlier, yep. here are the six independently assignable outputs. Right. Now they, they have labels on them, but of course we can assign them to an output yeah. other than those labels. Second, I, I just wanna go over this one more time because again, I haven't seen this feature in a switcher before. Um, we have two independent auxiliary outputs, yes. but the auxiliary output can do a cut and a dissolve, right? Exactly. So here on the, on the multi-viewer, we see aux1 preview yes. and aux1 program. Yes. Um, if, if I was just switching, sort of cutting right. my background, yes. how would I switch to, how would I change the switcher so I can do a dissolve between auxiliary one preview and auxiliary one program? Yes. Now actually we have only one cross point for the program okay. as usual, but using those uh, uh, delegation button, yeah. you can assign uh, this pro, uh, cross point section for background or a key okay. or auxiliary one and another two. Very good. So this time we have auxiliary one. Yeah. So I'm going to choose auxiliary one. Yeah. Then now this cross point can be assigned as a aux one cross point. So it's aux one preview exactly. and aux one program. Right. So let's let's see it happen. Let me let me see a mix on my on my auxiliary output. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Then cut. Oh, that's Control. fantastic. All right, so if you are a uh, small multi-camera production facility and you have need for one main preview bus with keying and chroma and other effects, yeah. but, but one and even two sub buses, auxiliary outputs that could benefit from a broadcast cut or a dissolve, what's the model number again? MCS8M. Fantastic. Mr. Shiba-san, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the time. And from all of us at the DOT studio here on Midtown Video, this has been Jesse Miller saying, totally awesome.